Okay, welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're a first time uh, viewer, I'm sure this video will, you'll find something kind of interesting in. Uh, and if you're a return viewer and a subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing. really appreciate it. It really helps me out, keeps me going. Uh, but today we are going to talk about uh, the, um, in the solids menu. If you go to the solids menu and you scroll all the way down to the end, uh, right here, edit holes. We're going to talk about this first command here, make hole. This is uh, series one. Uh, or part one in a series that we're going to talk about all these commands here. So uh, the first one we're going to talk about is just the make whole command. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to go back and review uh, the um, surface command uh, push pull. Everybody pretty much knows about push pull, but uh, there's a, a little difference between the two. Uh, so I'm going to talk about that first. Uh, so bear with me. I, I know you already know this stuff probably. Uh, but real quick, we'll go to, uh, in order to do a push-pull, the curve actually has to be on the surface, right? So that's what we're going to do first. We'll go to our Curves menu, go all the way down the end from Object. Click on that uh, and project uh, this curve here uh, to uh, and hit enter it to this surface here and hit enter and it projects our curve onto our surface which is what we need to do the push pull and uh, from here we'll just go to our push pull command hit push pull grab our curve uh, select our surface uh, and you are able to uh, take away or add to extrude or extract uh, from that surface right uh, you can't really go all the way through, it'll just continue to bring it on down, so there's no hole there, right? And hence, uh, uh, make hole. That's what these uh, this other command will do. Uh, so let's do it one more time because there's something kind of interesting on a circle if you try to do the push-pull. So I'll go to my commands, uh, pr project, select my curve, uh, and select my curve, hit enter, and select my ball, and hit enter, and it projects it. Hit enter one more time. Uh, well, no, shouldn't hit enter one more time, but I did. Uh, and then our curve is on our surface. Of course, it puts it on both sides. But we'll just take this top one, and we'll go to our push-pull, and give it a second here. Select our surface, and we'll, if you can drag it out, which it kind of extrudes it uh, out at a uh, angle to the ball kind of thing. It kind of makes another type of ball on top of that with the extrusion. And if you take it in, it takes it at a an angle into the surface, right? So let's get rid of this green one here, uh, just so you can see. Uh, sure it's maybe you've done this before but it'll take it into an angle which is very very useful kind of looks like a tomato there <laughs> um, but uh, you know that's that's uh, that's the push pull right and there, there's going to be differences and that's what I wanted to really show I want to show uh, so next we'll, we'll go to our uh, solids menu well all the way down uh, scroll all the way down to the edit holes and then we'll just make whole. Okay, so make whole says uh, select planar closed curve. Keywords here, planar closed curve. Now planar means uh, it has to be flat in one view of the top, front, or right viewports. So if you look here, this is a planar curve because it is flat in this perspective here. Uh, this it's a uh, it's also a planar curve here because it's flat in that perspective, but you can't see it because it's here, uh, and it's flat here. And these are also planar curves, although they're at angles, but they're flat in one of the views. So it's not a planar curve here, but it is here. So in one of the three views here, it has to be a planar closed planar curve. Well, closed most definitely, but uh, planar in one of the three views. Okay, that's uh, very important for this command. So let's let's go ahead. Uh, we have the command activated. So let's select our closed planar curve, and we'll have to hit enter after we select it, and then we select our surface, and we have to hit enter one more time. Uh, 
that's how I got it set up differently. Uh, so let's go back to pick normal. Normal is just normal to the curve. So it'll go in the same direction as the, the curve in the planar view. So up and down in this case. Uh, and you can't see it here of course but uh, it'll go up and down and then you can just drag it so into your surface or you could uh, pick a depth uh, and you just can just drag it in and click on it and it'll make the cutout as you can see right here right there's our cutout now let's back out of that real quick and I'm just gonna uh, right click to reactivate it uh, select my curve hit enter select my surface hit enter and this time I'm going to drag it all the way through and hit enter and there you can see that it will cut an actual hole through it so it can do uh, in, in a cutout or make a hole uh, that's one of the key things uh, and actually let's go back and real quick and talk about some of the options all right, so I'm going to right click, reactivate the curve, or reactivate the command, uh, select my uh, curve, and I uh, select my surface. Well, first uh, hit enter, select my surface, hit enter, and now I have options. Directions normal, which is normal to the curve. So this one you'll see later uh, will will go at a different angle. This one right here, this curve. Uh, but right now it's going just with my curve, whatever planar it is. Uh, you can click on that and you can change it to the X direction. So if my curve was, uh, you know, set up at a, you know, a 90 degree angle from here and I was wanting to cut into a surface over here, you could do it that direction. I can go back and I can click on the Y direction. So if my curve was in a 90 degree angle here and this, and my surface was there, I could cut into it. And of course, it'll go to the Z direction, which is in this case's normal uh, uh, direction to the curve, same, same thing. Uh, okay, so you have those options, uh, which is normal to curve, Z in this case. Uh, and uh, let's go continue on. Uh, C plane, which is the same thing since it's set up, but when you're at different angles, they may not be. So you can cut, you can change it in that direction, so keep that in mind. Uh, and then pick, pick. Now pick is really cool, because let's go here. Uh, I can pick a point anywhere. I can make the curve go along this direction. Or I can back out of that and re-click. Uh, select my surface. Let's go back to uh, this surface here. Oh, there I went cut it out right there. Uh, and hit enter and go back to pick. I want to pick a different direction, let's say. Uh, let's go back to my uh, right view and pick. So I have my command back up here and I want to come over this direction. And now I can cut in that direction. If I hit enter, it'll have cut it out in that direction too. Now you can see that the cut is angled with that direction of my line that I had. So even though my, my it's planar to my C plane, I can change it to a direction to cut and when it cuts it'll cut at that angle. So that's very very powerful. Uh, okay so let's move on. Uh, I already have my command activated so let's uh, take this next one here. Here we go. Uh, so okay let's back out of that. Let's re-click activate. Oh I want to get off that one. Let's go to this one here. Uh, the ball, since we, we did it over here, right? And the difference there is, is at an angle. Well, let's just take this one, uh, hit enter, our surface enter. And of course, we have to change it back to either the Z or normal to curve. And we'll go to, uh, let's go to all our views. And I'll drag it down halfway or so, and then hit enter. And if you look at it, here it just goes straight in okay it, it will actually just go straight in 
so it will not go in at an angle uh, and it will not extrude anything it won't add to anything it only takes away so uh, let's right click on that again click on that one hit enter click on our ball hit enter and this time I'm just going to drag it all the way through and now we have a ball with a star cut all the way through it pretty cool huh uh, now let's keep moving on uh, let's take this curve here and let's drag him over a little bit and uh, let's go ahead and select him and I'll bring back my uh, make hole command uh, and my surface will be that big thick one there and hit enter and I, mean, I have it right now set to normal to curve so it's going to go in the direction of my curve normal uh, area and then I'll just click all the way through it and as you can tell it'll click at that angle all the way through the object or you can drag it to a certain depth however much you want but uh, that's uh, <laughs> really cool stuff I'm really uh, excited to present these videos here on this one this topic here it's it, I just this is pretty cool uh, I think uh, let's go to one more in our other direction uh, hit that one uh, hit our surface hit enter and now we can drag it in and make the cut and again it makes it at that 40 degree angle or if we wanted to we wanted to make that cut let's just take that back real quick and I'll right click select on this hit enter and my surface hit enter and now I'm going to uh, go to click on normal to curve and then I'm bring up this sub menu and I'm going to hit pick okay and I'm just going to pick I should have just clicked on the Z direction but here and hit enter and it'll just cut that area straight on through which is really cool all right uh, and the last one which is actually my favorite uh, we'll right click on it bring back the command I'll click on my planar curve and my it is planar in this direction here right so and then I'll hit my surface here oh, enter hit my surface enter and I'm going to do pick here change it to a long curve so select an extrusion path so I'm going to pick on this curve on my surface here and click and then it actually cuts out uh, that object onto my surface using the the curve on the surface which is really cool uh, you can do a lot of stuff with this tool uh, and uh, I hope you're as excited as I am about it uh, but anyway um, just uh, hopefully you learned a little something we we did went over the push pull we went over all the commands and sub commands in uh, the cut make hole and uh, our next one will be uh, on uh, array uh, holes polar or one of these others I'm not sure how what order we'll go into but we'll try to get through them all and uh, I hope you liked the video if you did uh, please leave a like subscribe and a comment below and if this is kind of the stuff you like to see uh, please uh, let me know uh, if you like this kind of stuff or maybe you like more design work or something uh, just help me uh, make uh, videos that might be interested uh, interesting for you to watch all right and helpful of course uh, so thanks for watching good designing